So why didn't we see the bear the first time? Say it loud. I was counting the ball. Okay, you got it. You weren't looking for it. It's hard to see something that you're not looking for. Let me put it in a different way. When your awareness is raised, you see the invisible. Think about that for a second. Imagine for a second that there were things going on around you on a regular basis that you're not seeing, that if you saw, would allow you to escape not only an addiction maybe, a toxic relationship maybe, or that you would simply be able to put yourself in a position that your happiness level on a daily basis started increasing. Now think about this. If your happiness level starts going up, you stop producing a constant stream of what's called cortisol. Cortisol will not only pull down your energy level, cause you not to get into deep sleep, but will also help you start collecting more weight on a regular basis. Plus, you will be depressed and want to sleep more, but you won't sleep well. The idea is, if you can just do one little thing to start that change moving, what impact would that have on you? Okay. So here's the number, number one result of people who are not aware of what's going around them. In other words, intrapersonally, it's called anger. It's probably one of the biggest addictions I know of. It is also the number one comorbid addiction. Translated means, let's say I'm addicted to alcohol, just for argument's sake. Okay. When I start working on my alcoholism and I have any degree of sobriety coming over, I will then move to anger. Nobody has just one. But anger seems ubiquitous, right? Anything from road rage to high levels of criticism, etc. Okay, it will skew your judgment. So has anyone been in a really heated battle with someone and had complete clarity of thought? Complete clarity of words? Everything you said was so articulated well. There was no emotion at all, completely neutral. You're able to fully understand and comprehend what's going on. Good, nobody is disillusioned yet. <laughs> so what happens when we get triggered like that, we actually shut down our prefrontal cortex. That's what anger does. Because we get drugs to replace that feeling. In other words, every time you get angry, every time you have to criticize someone, you're basically shooting yourself with a little bit of an opiate to feel good about acting stupid. <laughs> so welcome, we are all addicts. Hi, my name is Richard. <laughs> I'm addicted to, all right. It reduces your rationality. We already said the brain because of the drug altering as aspects of it. You'll have a lot less likelihood of even being aware. More things will become blind or you'll be blind to them. It is very much associated with pride and bullying and it fragments your brain. <coughs> Here's a study. So what they tried, they, they took the awareness only in the study and said, we're going to find out what level awareness has on obesity. 1,600 participants. The traditional research is that if anyone's ever gone to the doctor, they give you these long lists of things that nobody will ever do. Um, somehow they feel good about giving you something that can't be done. So typical thing is join the club, eat less, take the stairs instead of the elevator, even though you work on the 87th floor. Um, but after a while, you'll eventually revert back to what you've always done, right? Because familiar is a much easier place to be than safe. Mm -hmm. Think about that first. Why do people always marry back the same type of idiot that they married the first time that they got divorced from after they were put in the hospital? Okay, it's because familiar is so much easier. Yet I just talked about familiar, didn't we? It's far easier to be healthy than addicted. All right? After the enthusiasm wore off, everyone went back to their old habits. What they found was piling new ideas on doesn't stick because we've got a subconscious and we don't have time to do this today but real quick you got your conscious on the outside of the head your subconscious on the inside of the head and the subconscious goes all the way down to here all of your body parts the major organs your heart your digestive tract the uh, microbiome your liver your kidneys your reproductive organs are all tied directly to the subconscious um, when you understand that when you have a feeling so let's just say for argument that I make you really nervous because I've been your bully. And you see me walking down the hallway. And it just 
what would she typically feel? What would be going on if I really was her bully? I'm her boss, and I'm just a horse's patook. I come walking down the hall. Mm -hmm. What is she feeling? Interest, tension. All right. So everybody, for a second, tell me where you feel fear. Just point. Okay. Okay. You male. <laughs> no. Okay. Your first assignment. If you don't know where you feel emotion, fear, anxiety, anger, whatever it might be, start paying attention. It's critical. Why? Because it's 90% of your brain power telling you something is amiss. If you don't feel it, that means you've suppressed the thought process, <laughs> all feelings, because we've been taught since the 1200s that having feelings is somehow weak. Okay, so of the two genders, stereotypically, which one is associated with logic and rationale? Yeah. And which one's associated with feelings and therefore weak? Yeah, isn't that interesting? Yet yeah, isn't a man completely being dictated by his emotions when he can't address them head on and he runs from them? Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense why we think that's somehow better? So what I'm suggesting is your first assignment. Mm -hmm. Know intuitively where you feel that stress, that anxiety. Then when it happens, pre-plan this. So mine's in my gut. Pre-plan it in advance. As soon as I feel something, I have to ask the question, what's going on? Why? So I'm going back to interpersonal. What's going on in my space? What's going on in this space? And what's going on in this space? So I have to take my blinders off to see something that was once invisible. Because it could be subtle. 